What's up guys? This is Samsung version 5.1, Samsung One UI version 5.1 update and review for you on my Galaxy S22 Plus. Now if you got the S22, S22 Plus like I have or S22 Ultra, the One UI 5.1 update is available as of this week so go ahead and download it. But I've seen on Reddit or even on Twitter some people having issues. They saying that the battery life sucks on Samsung One UI version 5.1 but for me the update is okay. I'm getting the same battery life as I was getting on One UI 5.0. So One UI 5.1 is giving some people issues but for me it's still the same battery life so I'm happy about that. There's a couple of things that's new. Not a whole lot. It's just a refinement of One UI 5.0. It's just a little bit more smoother and it look a little bit more cleaner. That's about it. It come with the Galaxy S23 series. So if you got the Galaxy S23, like I have right here, the S23 Plus, you already got the One UI 5.1 out of the box. So for your Galaxy S22 series, the update is available right now. If you tap and hold on the home screen, you got your wallpapers and style. If you tap on that, if you click on color palette, this is what they look like. If we go back and go to themes, this is what themes look like. Okay. This is themes. If I go back and go to widgets, now with One UI 5.1, there's a new battery widget. It's similar to iOS 16 right now. So if I scroll down to the widget section and if I tap on battery, you can see a new battery widget similar to iOS 16. You got two different widgets. You got four by one or four by two. Four by one only shows the uh, percentage of the different headphones or Bluetooth speaker that you're using on your Samsung device or you can choose the 4 by 2 and it'll show you the name of the set device and the battery life. You can see here I already have the 4 by one on my screen so there it is like so. It's showing my phone battery life right now at 67%. But if I want to choose the bigger version, they are 4x2, all I got to do is go to widgets, click on battery and tap and hold on it and drag it on the home screen. And when I drag it on the home screen, I can make it smaller or I can make it bigger, just enlarge it like so. It's pretty cool. So that's battery widgets on the Galaxy S22 Plus with the One UI 5.1. If we go to the app drawer, this is what the app drawer look like. You still got the search button on the top or the search bar on the top. You can search for whatever you like. Or you can tap on those three dots on the top right. You can go to settings, just like so. Or you can choose apps to search in. So that remains basically as version 5.0. If I tap on any app on the home screen, you still got select, remove, or you can go straight to, to the app settings, just like that. And of course, you still got the Google bar on the bottom, which is Google now. How old is Barack Obama? 61 years old. There you have it. What's the weather like in Miami, Florida? It's 79 degrees and mostly sunny in Miami. So that is Google now. It worked perfectly fine, but I don't use Bixby, you guys know Bixby sucks. I don't use Bixby, I prefer Google now or Siri on my iPhone. If I, ta if I swap to my right, you got your Google now feed, you can select which you know uh 
topics you're interested in and they will show you what you selected if we go to settings just like so and now we're in settings you still got your connection connected devices more than routine sound and vibration notification display if i go to display nothing change you still got light mode or dark mode if we go to dark mode settings you got custom schedule or sun to rise you still got motion smoothness adaptive or standard you got screen mode vivid natural or white balance most of those things gonna stay the same as enjoy 13 one ui 5.0 but some of them do change on one ui 5.1 so keep that in mind if we go to wallpapers and themes we already checked that nothing major there themes we already checked that home screen so for home screen you got home screen layout we got home screen and apps and we got home screen only we got home screen grid 4x6, 5x5, 5x6 or 4x5 so most of this thing gonna stay the same we got folder grid 3x4 or 4x4 let's get back out of that if we go to security and privacy that's what it looks like nothing major there if we go to advanced features nothing was added they basically everything stay the same as Android 13 one UI 5.0 nothing changed everything stay the same if we go back if we go to battery and device care you see everything stay the same basically on Android 13 one UI 5.1 I got the 256 gig Galaxy S22 Plus by the way so I got plenty of storage left on my phone and if I go to software update there should be new there should be no new update because you can see one ui version 5.1 already installed so that's cool and there it is one ui version 5.1 android 13 so that's that so overall this update is nice if i tap and hold on any notification you can turn off the notification go to settings or click on done just like so tap and hold on any notification you can drag it on the home screen or cancel it if i swap down go to all the toggles you still got everything you had on android 13 one ui 5.0 you got portrait, Bluetooth, mobile data, flashlight, location, power saving mode, airplane mode, mute, mobile hotspot, DEX, smart view, nearby share, do not disturb, scan QR code, modes, Wi-Fi calling, eye comfort shared, or quick shared. You can also add more if you wish to. Tap on the plus button and there you go. One UI version 5.1 is nice on the Galaxy S22 series. If you already have a Galaxy S23, you got the update because it come out of the box. There you have it guys. Drop a comment, let me know what you think and I'm out. Like this video if you like it. Peace.